Hello Disciples, Donkey here, and today we are going over some of the new exotics coming with Lightfall in just a few weeks. Bungie just put out a new trailer, which you should absolutely go watch right now, teasing six exotics with only one being an old exotic. But let's go ahead and break down the trailer and see what the hype is all about. First, we see some dripped out guardians wielding the new exotic gear. Then we have our Titan brutally destroying the Svex Goblin using the quick silver storm with its new strand firing bullets. However, the first exotic we see is the new sidearm final warning with its perk being able to fire strand charged tracking rounds. It's a pretty cool looking sidearm in terms of the artwork and design. And it looks like to activate the special perk, you will need to get a kill or a couple kills beforehand to then charge the weapon by doing an alternate reload animation to load in the charged rounds. It also looks like you can just hip fire at the enemies in their general direction and it will lock onto them pretty easy. To beat just one of these goblins, it took three shots from this gun. So my guess is that it will have a high capacity magazine as well. Then we move into the new machine gun, the Deterministic Chaos, which is a void exotic LMG. The perk Rhythmic Debuffs grants both weaken and volatile rounds after a few shots. The overall look of the gun is really cool, but I am a little worried about the perk and it taking 16 shots to get volatile while four rounds are fired for weakened, which is pretty nice. So I wonder if it will keep the debuffs while you are continuing to fire the weapon, or if it only applies weakened and volatile on the fourth and 16th shot only. Moving on to our first exotic armor piece for the hunters, Cry, Cry, Ant, Cry, Tantris, Cry, cry whatever, facade which after using the strand grapple, you activate woven mail, which will give increased flinch resistance when aiming down sights. We also see the new sniper, which my guess will be a new DLC weapon from Neo Muna. The hunter makes quick work of the Titan as he explodes into a red crayon. Next up, we have the Titan's exotic armor, the Abiant, Ab, Ab, Abiant Leap, I don't know how to say these names, whatever. And its perk allows for barricades to spawn strand lashes. Pretty cool to see a couple of things here. The first being that Titans now have a new way to abuse barricades in PVP, because it looks like these strand lashes might have tracking. So you thought Titan's ramparts were bad. Well, just you wait. Secondly, this new strand ability is neat because it will hit targets and then dangle them in midair, making them immobilized, similar to the stasis freeze effect. Moving on to the Quicksilver Storm, we see the new Catalyst effects, which allow the grenades from the weapon to create strand tangles. These tangles are seen here, which create an orb that can be picked up and thrown at an enemy for high damage. Reminds me of Ruinous Effigy and how that weapon creates orbs that you can use for damage. Next up for the Warlock Exotic, we have Swarmers, which says destroying tangles spawns threadlings. So my guess, right off the bat, is there will be multiple ways to create these floating orb strand tangles for each character. So these threadlings pop out of the orb and track on the ground towards enemies and then explode. This definitely looks like how the exotic gun, the Colony, and its robots crawl around from when Destiny 2 first came out. We also see a quick glimpse of the new hand cannon right there. Looks like it might be a high impact frame hand cannon, but who knows. Lastly, we have the Winter's Bite Exotic Stasis Glaive which I know a lot of people in the Destiny community were asking for one, so that's really cool to see Bungie put this in the game. This perk freezes enemies with a frost orb, so you shoot it like a normal glaive and out pops a slow floating turret orb that will shoot at targets as it flies in a straight path. Pretty cool glaive, and I am sure there will be some nasty stasis builds to be used with this exotic. Finally, we see some gameplay of the Cabal and their new armor and look as well as a new darkness theme transmit effect for the majors in the back. Also, there's a massive new tank, and it definitely looks like it got quite a few new upgrades. But even with all those upgrades, the Warlock still tanks every shot and doesn't die. So we shall see how beefy of a beefcake this tank really is. Well, Guardians, this is all super exciting news, and we are just a few weeks away from launch of Lightfall. I will do my best to keep you updated with all the new things to do once Lightfall is finally released with strand builds, guides, and much more. So be sure to subscribe for free and follow along for more Destiny 2 content, and we will see you in the next one.